Hey there, everyone. Welcome to GMB Gorilla. My name is Rody, and this is Ask the Gorilla. So today, I'm going to teach you what a service area business is and how it differs from a regular business location. So let's get started. Now, as usual, we're looking at our Google Business Profile Manager dashboard, and you can get here by going to business.google.com. That link is in the description for your convenience. So let's go ahead and jump on in. We're looking right now at an ice cream and coffee shop called Churn Soft Serve and Coffee. All right, this is one of the businesses that we manage. Now, how do we know what kind of business this is? Well, the first tell is that we can see that it has an address listed, right? 1501 Hurdle Avenue in Buffalo. So if we click on this, we can see the actual like pin that points to where exactly where it's located, right? The address. So that's how you know that it's a regular business location. Now, what's a service area business? The best way to think about this is that a service area business comes to you while a regular business location is one that you can visit. The key factors identifying a service area business is that they don't have a location that you can actually go to, right? They come to you. So let's go ahead and check out this address here. So if we copy this address, I'm going to hit Control C. I'm going to go to a new tab here, and I'm just going to punch it on in there. Control V, that's paste, and hit Enter. Let's see what we let's see what we see. So right off the bat, we're looking at this little map thing here, and here is the little uh, here's the street view, and we can see right in front of us is Churn Soft Serve and Ice Cream. So we know that this is a real place, the real address that we can visit. Now this is super important to note because I'll explain why this is significant in a moment. Let's go to a local search that I did. Now, good examples of service area businesses include things like plumbers or electricians or cleaning services right these are businesses with folks that come to your house or come to your place of business in order to you know take care of business of course so right off the bat we see here that the first non-ad is paladino cleaning services let's click here now you'll see a big red outline here. And what is this, right? This is actually the service area that's outlined in Google. So it looks like they have they have all of New York City written as their service area, right? So anywhere in here, you can call them and they'll come to your place and they'll clean, right? And that's the whole point of a service area business. You know that you're essentially either business or location, whatever the case may be, actually falls in their service area radius, right? If you look on the left, there's no address. You call them or you make an appointment online and they come to you. So again, when, like I said before, a service area business comes to you at a regular location, you go to the business, right? And in this case, we go for some soft serve ice cream. Delicious. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit you with a curveball. We see here in Churn Soft Serve and Coffee that this place actually has service areas. Now, why do they have service areas? Like, why would a location-based business have service areas, right? And if you said delivery in your smart cookie, you're correct, you get points. So essentially, a regular location can list service areas if they offer things like deliveries. Now, we can see here that they service all these areas, Orchard Park, Buffalo, you know, Tonawanda, things like that, Williamsville. So in that case, if someone wants to have a delivery done, you can go ahead and show that on your Google My Business page. All right. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.